County Superstars. This is Professor Don Bush. I've been a professor for about 30 years and a CPA for about that long, and I've got great ways to explain accounting. So if you want to understand accounting, you've come to the right place. And uh, hit that like button, that subscribe button. That way, YouTube will let you know uh, when more videos come out and, and uh, YouTube will show more videos too. And I'll also know that you like these videos, so I'll make more of them. So today's lesson is uh, for students who are in their first semester of accounting and also intermediate accounting students. So here's the problem today is that uh, Fred at Fred Snowblower Service had a big fire. In fact, here's a picture of the fire right here and it destroyed a lot of his inventory, not all of it, but most of it. And this fire happened in January. So uh, Fred needs to turn in an insurance claim. Uh, so it can be reimbursed. But the problem is, is that the insurance company wants some documentation, a little bit of proof on how much inventory was lost. And so uh, Fred talks to his accountant and says, hey, accountant, what can I do here? And the accountant is saying, no problem, we can do this. In fact, in about five minutes, you'll be able to do this too. Uh, you'll be able to, uh, you know, get paid to do this. So it's really pretty easy. A couple little simple calculations and we have it. So here we go. Here's the information that the accountant needed. The first bit of information is the value of inventory at the end of December. That is uh, at the beginning of January. It's the beginning inventory. And this would be off of the uh, balance sheet at the end of December. So the beginning inventory for January or ending inventory for December, however you want to say it, is $32,600. Now, the accountant also needs the amount of inventory purchases for the month of January. And fortunately, Fred is smart enough to keep his inventory records and his accounting records separate from his inventory. And, and not all uh, business owners are that smart. I'll tell you what, uh, I've, I've seen and heard of cases where uh, business people have kept their inventory records and their accounting records inside their business location and they didn't make backup copies or anything. And so when they had a fire or a theft, they, they lost everything. It, it's really bad. So if you're a smart business person, make sure you make backup copies of your accounting records and also keep copies off the premises too. So, all right. So we've got the amount of inventory purchases for the month of January, 59,500. And that was up until the uh, time of the fire. January sales. Now, these are at retail prices, $105,000. Now, here's something that uh, Fred's accountant can figure this out by looking at old uh, income statements. Estimated gross profit rate, the percentage that Fred marks up the inventory, 45%. So on average, Fred marks up his inventory 45%. That's that's a historical average. And it's, it's, um, it, it's a close estimate. You know, it can vary from year to year a bit, month to month, but that's about what it is for Fred. Now, the amount of inventory not damaged by the fire was $6,000. So the, the fire didn't burn all the inventory. Some of the inventory is good and sellable, uh, but it's only $6,000. So what we've got to do is we've got to figure out how much of the inventory was destroyed. And that way we can fill out a claim for the insurance company. So it's real easy. Here we go. So the first thing that we're going to do is figure out the cost of goods sold percentage. So here's how you do it. Uh, sales is always 100%. Just write down 100%. Whenever you're trying to figure out percentages, it's really safe to put down 100% for sales, always. Now, uh, we know that the gross profit percentage is 45%. We got get that right here from the information. So 45%. So what's the cost of goods sold, sold percentage? Easy. All you do is say, okay, 100% minus something is 45%. So simple math, that ought to be 55%. There we go. So what we'll do is we'll take these percentages and we're going to drop them down here in the next box because we need to know the dollar amounts. All right, so we're just going to take those percentages from right up above, drop them right down here. Now let's uh, put in the amount of sales uh, up until the time of the fire. So January sales up until the time of the fire was 105,000. So there we go, 105,000. Now we need to figure out the dollar amount of cost of goods sold, easy, because we've got the percentage. So 105,000 times 55% and you've got your cost of goods sold. And that's the key right there. And since we're at it, we can figure out the gross profit too. The gross profit would, all we'd have to do is either subtract or 
105,000 times 45%, whatever, whatever you want to do. So there you go. 47,250. Coming down to the next little section, which is also pretty easy. We've got the, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to solve for the ending inventory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the screen so we can easily see what is up above here. What I have is I've got the original data up here in above the split and I've got where we're working down below the split. So beginning inventory at the beginning of January is 32,600. So all you do is drop that number right here in this slot. Purchases, purchases, uh, the amount of inventory purchases for the month of January up until the time of the uh, fire was 59,500, just drop it into place. So what we'll do is we'll get a little subtotal. And this subtotal is called goods available for sale. And what we'll do is we'll subtract away what we sold up until the fire. So we sold 57,750. I get that number from right up above. We figured it out just a minute ago. So let's drop that number right into here and we'll subtract that because if we have $92,100 of inventory available to sell and we actually did sell 57,750, then whatever's left over ought to be our ending inventory. Now this 34,350, that would be our ending inventory if no fire happened, but of course the fire burned up much of this. And so we'll go down to the last little section here and here's what we do. Estimated ending inventory before the fire. Well, let's just drop that number down, 34,350. Let's put that in there. Minus the inventory not damaged in the fire, and that we can get from the original information. Here it is, $6,000. So we'll put that here, and we're going to subtract it away. So 34,350 minus 6,000, that gives us the amount of inventory that was lost in the fire. And so now, Fred can uh, do a uh, insurance reimbursement claim. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It's just that easy. Nothing to it. it what, it take us four minutes here? So easy stuff. So uh, let me know if you like the video. Hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel a lot, so, and I'd appreciate it. And also, check out accountingsuperstars.com. I've got all the videos uh, listed by topic on that website. And that way you can look for videos, you know, for topics also. In, in, in the comments, um, write in topics that you'd like to learn about, and I can make videos about them. So, until next time, over now.